Now at five, and for the first time, we're learning more about the truck at the center of this explosion in Wilmington. It injured nine firefighters and scattered debris across a neighborhood yesterday. The truck belongs to a company out of Long Beach. Good evening, everyone. I'm Annabelle Sedano. And I'm Kathy Vara in for Colleen. Our McCulley Medina is getting their response to the blast. He joins us live with the details you're seeing only on floor. McCullo. Right, the Long Beach based company says they are not only looking into the inc incident itself, they're investigating the explosion. They're course working, they say, cooperating with local and federal investigators, three of which we saw at their Carson office when we got there. You can see Department of Transportation agents inside parent company TTSI Trucking. They were there a bulk of the morning with its subsidiary HLT, or Heavy Load Transfer, the operators of the big rig that blew Thursday morning. That explosion injured nine firefighters. In a statement, HLT says, we are grateful to the firefighters who responded to the scene and our thoughts are with those who were injured in the course of ensuring others' safety. At its Carson location, you can see the natural gas pumps that trucks use to fill up their compressed natural gas or CNG big rig tanks. Firefighters say one of those 100 gallon tanks exploded during their attempt to put out a fire in the truck Thursday morning. The parent company, TTSI, previously put out this press release saying it replaced 15 of its diesel trucks with compressed natural gas trucks in 2021. Many of them look much like the one that blew, rocking the Wilmington neighborhood. I think the shockwaves sent a, kind of a, so much force that it caused our doors to basically ripple. Michael Moyne owns Wilmington Recycle. It's just feet away from the blast site. You can see the damage of his building. He's worried about the building's structural stability. He estimates the cost to fix it will be somewhere around $10,000. Meantime, his workers have been out of a job for two days. I, I don't know who's the responsible, probably the, the cylinder, probably the driver, probably, I don't know, the company. I'd hope the truck is insured and therefore yeah, we can make a claim. It flew me about three feet after the explosion happened. Tanya Galos also wants someone held responsible for the blast. She was injured when she was thrown into the air and slammed into the ground when the truck exploded. At least the trucking company, you know, there's a lot of people that were hurt. Yeah, certainly a lot of people that were hurt, including those firefighters, nine of them, seven of them have been released and are now home right now, but two still remain in local hospitals recovering. Meantime, the truck has just been towed away here from the scene within the last hour. We're live in Wilmington. I'm Akala Medina, NBC4 News.